Today I would like to talk about something that might be interesting, I suppose, for the tarot people. And this has to do with um, this deck, which is called the Witch Folk Tarot, and it's created by Dark Cinever. And um, I have a tiny bit of a story time, I suppose, with this deck, which is strange. Um, it just arrived to me today. I I've been meaning to order it for a long time, but I like really couldn't find the proper way to get it because um, on Etsy uh, there is no like official seller, or I mean there supposedly is, but um, their account doesn't have like the official name and branding and everything, so you never know. And there's like a bunch of bootlegs of this deck on Etsy two which all of them look exactly the same so even though i confirmed with somebody that i trust that this was the like actual official seller i was seeing reviews of the deck on the etsy account saying that the deck they got is probably a bootleg uh, and i will show you why because mine turned out the same but the funny thing is that i did not order it from etsy I ordered it from the official website of from Dark Cinever and uh, was considering Etsy in the first place because when I wanted to get this deck, uh, their website, their official website was down for like weeks. Uh, so the only way to get it was Etsy. But then because I saw that all of the decks on Etsy looked like bootlegs of the deck, I decided not to get it and then... I think at the beginning of uh, January I was looking at it again and uh, saw that the website was up again so I figured okay now is a good time to get it and maybe if it's from the official site it's going to be the official deck and not the bootleg and the way that you can recognize that this is not the original deck was that in the advertisement of the deck on the website and on Etsy it says that it's supposed to be linen cardstock this one is not and uh, it has a more squarish shape whereas this one is longer it's kind of this cheap cardstock that you often find on the decks that you would get from Aliexpress and I know because I had some of those decks I don't have them anymore and I'm not interested in collecting um, bootleg decks but um, I just know because I had them so I have the comparison and the interesting thing also is that because it's longer you have this uh, folk witch uh, written on all of the cards up top which in my opinion ruins the aesthetics of the deck <laughs> and uh, yeah it just looks like shit with that and with this black uh, border under the title of the card which also wasn't there in the original deck so the original deck was like shorter by this amount and by this amount and then it was just surrounded by these cool um, borders with the eyes on them and there was no white border around either. So uh, the back looks like this. I think it's pretty similar to the actual original edition of this deck. And uh, I mean, I don't mind this as long as the official seller would offer the, the deck in a truthful way where you actually know in advance that this is not going to be linen cardstock and that you will get the deck uh, with different dimensions and with the folk wedge written on top of every single card. Um, then that would be real advertising and not fake advertising the deck. And uh, yeah, would be just less problematic in general. So uh, the funny thing is that it seems like uh, they are selling a bootleg of their own deck you know how that sounds. It's kind of strange, right? So I just figured I would put it out there for those of you who are or have been considering getting this deck 
uh, that even though the pictures of the deck in their uh, offer of it in the official shop they don't look like this. Uh, they are the pictures of the original edition, which I know existed because some people actually have it, which I'm fucking jealous. Like, <laughs> come on, give me that fucking deck. Uh, so you will not get what you see in the pictures. You will get this. And uh, I don't know if, again, it's an actual bootleg of the deck and they're selling a bootleg and they don't fucking care, or if the production of the deck changed, by, but they forgot to change the, um, you know, description of the offer in their shop and on their Etsy shop as well. Because there's... Okay, these are kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, I love the artwork in this deck. That's why I wanted to get it in the first place. It's kind of... It makes me think of this combination of Slavic folk magic and Slavic folk legends and like the kind of shit you see when you practice spirit flight and uh, working with spirits in general. So it's just so fucking cool. I love it. It has this vibe of working with the dead as well. Yeah, it's great. But the execution of this version or this edition of the deck, sadly, is kind of shit. <laughs> but still, uh, I was aware because if I get decks like this, uh, I am a nerd, so I always do uh, way too much research on shit like this beforehand. So I knew that like there's 90% chance that this is what I'm going to get and not the actual original first edition that was advertised. Um, so I'm not surprised. I'm not really disappointed. I'm not angry in any way at anybody. I'm not even going to uh, like contact them to, to let them know. I, I don't really care. I'm probably just going to trim the deck, to be honest, to get rid of this uh, folk witch thingy on top of every card and also to shorten these um, this unnecessary black border underneath the titles. So that's my plan for the deck. Um, I'm probably going to edge it because it's going to be very black once I trim the um, unnecessary borders of, of the deck. Um, so yeah, I think it's still going to be a great deck, very usable, and um, let me just maybe, because you can just, you know, watch walkthroughs anywhere anyway. So uh, let's look at the instruction guidebook just very briefly, because I'm also like curious myself. So you get um, everything in English and in uh, Russian or Ukrainian, I'm not sure, to be honest, I don't read Cyrillic, so... Okay, so you just get like very brief descriptions of... Um... Okay, so there's supposedly two additional cards, the forest and the familiar. Uh, was I too busy talking and <laughs> didn't notice, or... Um, let's just see... The world, no, wait. I don't know, I don't see them. Maybe they were somewhere in here, but I missed them. Whatever. Anywhere. Anyway, so you get brief descriptions of each of the majors. Then let's look at the minors. Okay. That's cool enough, I think. I, I d I'm curious if there's going to be something actually describing the artwork or the symbolism in the cards or just like generic... Um, yeah, it does look like it's actually describing the cards, so that is cool. And then you get the same in Russian or Ukrainian, again, not sure. So. Fair, whatever. So just wanted to put this out there quickly in case anybody's interested in this deck, uh, just so you are aware. I'm not sure like what's going on with their printing 
and uh, I don't care enough to find out. So if you have any information, please feel free to leave it underneath this video for others to see and for me as well, because I'm curious. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you around soon. Bye bye.